video. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do some of it before or after swatches of the Jaclyn Hill palette, but I did do swatches and I did get the Jaclyn Hill palette. You know, I'm not a, a affiliate, none of that. I'm a small YouTuber, so I got this palette. First thing first. There is a lot of mixed reviews about this palette. Sorry if you can like hear like the noise, my mom is cooking. I can't get around it. Okay. Palette. One thing that I did notice about this palette is that it was $38, I believe. But to the other Morphe palettes, I'm pretty sure the other Morphe palettes are like $22, no more than $24. But Jaclyn Hills, Jaclyn Hill went on saying how she it made it, yeah, it made. Jaclyn Hill went on saying how it took her two years to make this palette and um, to make the type of eyeshadow, saying that this is um, the eyeshadow formulas are totally different from the um, old Morphe shadows. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming that's probably why there's a price difference. But it's kind of like the palettes are normally like. 22, no more than 24, it's just staying in price practically, or it could just be because her name is on it, and you know, she gotta make her money too, and they gotta make their money, and so on, so forth, and so forth. So when you get the pat, when you get the palette, palette, it does come in a box, it says Jaclyn Hill on it, pretty much, it says the same thing the outer casing says, it says, um, the Jaclyn Hill palette, more in the corner, and then on the back, she has just a little message and four different photos with her with red hair. When you actually get the palette, it's the same thing like the box, except like you see, like it has like that little, you know, shiny stuff on it. And then on the back, it says Morphe times Jasmine Hill with JH. When you open it, it says, of course, this is dedicated to my lovely subscribers. It says, this is palette is dedicated to my lovely subscribers, XO Jacqueline, and then use, these are all the shades here. It may look a little different, mind you, I have all my lights on right now, so excuse that. I did swatch the palette already. Some of the shades were a little bit patchy. Um, I'm not really concerned about my swatches on my skin because these are eyeshadows, these are made for your eyes. So it doesn't matter how it looks on my skin, it matters what it's going to look like on my eye. I've been using this palette. This is my second time I've used this palette. I used this palette today doing this little look. That will be linked down below. Wig information, all that will be down below. But I did my first review. I did my first eyeshadow look before this. And um, like some of the shimmers are like super, super pigmented. Some of the shimmers are lacking. However, if you wet the brush, you will see them come to life. And then also, I have put a good to have these MAC Mixing Medium. But other than that, they work extremely well. I haven't used her pops of colors, but her other shadows, I do see a difference. I do own the Morphe 35O palette, and I do see when I'm applying my color. With the Morphe shades, sometimes you do have to build it up. And I see with this, I don't have to do much adding on to my eye in order to see the pigment of the eyeshadows. And um, another thing is that these two shades, I don't know if I'm going to mention, but these two shades on my skin tone, I'm like an NC45, NC50, Maybelline 330, Maybelline 338, just to show you guys what type of skin tone area I'm in. But these two shades look exactly the same. Like some of these colors in the palette on my skin look exact same and these just so happen to be it one makes me one is ashy on me and then one's like oh okay we can pass so um pretty much i'm not mad at the palette you know i'm all about this girl power so congrats to jacqueline for making this beautiful palette but you know if we have to really sit here and say is it worth buying this palette because first of all let's get into the drama um, it took Morphe a week and a half to deliver me this palette. Why am I so excited it took me a week and a half to get this palette? Because there was another person, and yes, she is a beauty blogger. She got, we ordered this on the same day. She stays in Tallahassee. She got hers literally like three, two days afterwards. Okay? It took them a little week. They were like, oh, it's going to be here by Friday. Then, oh no, we need extra three days. Then it was 4th of July, so it's just like, oh, okay. <sighs> then another person who was in freaking Virginia got their palette. I'm in Miami, like, 
I was really upset. So the shipping for this palette sucked. I don't even know if this video is gonna go up before her restock, but um, getting the palette was, um, I know a, little, a lot of people were a little bit disappointed because it did sell out. And I was too, only because it's just like, Jacqueline has like, I think it's like over, over maybe like two million people. It's kind of like, how did you not expect to have a, enough quality for her followers but hey that's them but is it worth it that's what everyone wants to know it's a good palette if you're a makeup lover you already have these shades just not in one palette to me i have these shades i have most of all of these shades some of them i don't have but to me i love makeup so i don't get it in anyway. and um but someone what I do, who, who I recommend this palette for, is for a beginner. Like if you're fresh into makeup and you need like a palette that's new like everything, but that's within your budget for coins, this is it. You got your neutrals, you got your pops of color, you got your smokies. Like this is perfect. I definitely, definitely recommend this for someone who's a beginner. But if you like love makeup, you already have these shades. It's just not all together. But I definitely would recommend it to somebody. And I actually like it. I'm gonna try to use this every day. Um, my only cons about it is that it's white. I hate that it's white. I already got it dirty. Like, there's already stains on the back of this. I think I threw away the box. I think the only thing I kept was a bubble wrap to try to keep this clean. But it's no, um, it's white. I know it's chic, sleek, you know, with the white. But this is gonna get dirty. I don't like that. Then on top of that, another con I don't like. It don't have no mirror. If I'm going to be spending $38, you could at least came with a mirror. Anastasia got a mirror, Urban Decay got a mirror, like, I could have got me a day mirror. I would have loved for it to come with a mirror. And then another thing that everyone else has been saying, she, cre she took two years to create this palette. And we don't have them names on this. I feel like this is one of the biggest, like, they give you, like, a little card that lists, that lists each name. And, of course, she has a video. She goes into full detail of the eyeshadows, what type of eyeshadow it is, how, to, how would it perform, and such and such and such and such. But it's not on here. And it has a YouTuber. You know, you can just, you don't, like, it's, it's a hassle to, oh, let me show the palette. Here it is. Or, you know, sometimes you can just go off your head like, oh, I'm using Anastasia Love Letter or da 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 But with this, it's kind of just like, oh, I'm using Pooter. And people are just like, oh, dang, like, yeah. So that's another big inconvenience for me. I wish the names was on here because she spent so long making this palette. It's just like, sis, put the names on the palette. Don't give us that little flimsy card because people are going to lose that. And then on top of that, y'all, I really just hate that it's white. Like, when you're traveling, like, it's white. Like, I feel like I have to be so careful with this, but it's going to get dirty. But I definitely would recommend this for a beginner, or if you just love makeup, or if you're just a supporter of Jaclyn Hill, honey, get the palette. It's really, really good. I like it. I've just been seeing, like, so many, so many, like, mixed reviews on it. But for me, it was definitely worth it because I know I can play with this palette all day. Oh, and then there's another thing that I noticed, too. Like... The browns, the browns in here, they turn gray on my skin tone. I'm gonna actually rewatch her video and, and like see what the explanation was with like the two brown shades in here. I used this in the previous tutorial. I noticed like on camera, I don't know if it's because of my lights, but they, they look gray on my skin tone. And then I seen Symphony do a video and like her, her eyeshadow looked a little bit grayish to me too. I don't know. I really don't like that because like I'm always on the search for that nice, smoky, like chocolate brown. But they look gray on me. So it's kind of just like at this point, hmm. But other than that, I have nothing else to say. Even though I said all that, I still would recommend this palette because it's, it's a really, really good palette. And it works for me. And I think it'll work for you. Nonetheless, I will definitely leave Jaclyn Hill's video down below so you can get all the explanation, the tea, what shade is this, and why we did that, and all that hoopla. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you.
Everything looks pretty, you know, okay. 